uh, morning everyone, it's day two. We've got up early this morning. Literally right next to the airport. We've just got an Uber down strip. I think it was $10. Um, and we are just doing the novelty thing at uh, getting the Las Vegas sign. Got to do that as a first timer. Um, a little update for yesterday. So we went through $150 free play, like I said, on my pop slots. And then we also probably put about another 150 at Mirage last night and ended up with $160. So we've had a good day yesterday. Um, probably net $140 up. So we've managed to take $60 of that and put it towards today because it's going to be a real busy day uh, today. We've got Prime booked at Bellagio, uh, Vanderpump tonight. Um, I really want to save a bit of money to do some gambling today as well. So. Um, weather update, it is red hot, it's 44 degrees planned for today, um, so the heat wave continues and luckily enough, the heat wave stops as we leave, of course it does, and if you see my face in this video, or anybody that knows me, I'm not the best with the sunshine, so um, yeah, it's red hot, but it's going to be a cracking day, so stay tuned. Tall one. Right, let's head into Mandalay Bay. Been down to see Vegas sign this morning, so we thought we'd work our way up. So, we'll probably take some footage from Mandalay, Luxor, wife's favourite one, Excalibur, and work our way up. It's reception area where you check in. To be honest, we've been to nearly every hotel up top end of the strip and I ain't really filmed any because most people that watch this will know where they're going anyway. But because this one's a bit further out, I thought I'll just include it in the vlog. Um, it seems a lot quieter than most other ones. Maybe it's just time and everyone's still in bed because they weren't getting in until like 6 in the morning. But you can, looking at the signs above, you can get to the Allegiant Stadium. So if anyone's coming to watch NFL, um, there's a sign up here where you can get to Allegiant Stadium, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, we'll have a tour around and see what we can see. So, just on to Casino 4. So, uh, first impressions of ever seeing it, it is a massive room, very spacious. If you compare it to somewhere like Flamingo, where we ended up eating last night for a cheap eat, it's massive. Like, in this area alone, you probably get four or five different... What are you saying? Yeah, it does smell a bit. It smells like an old casino. And cigarettes. But yeah, it's a massive room there. Well, um, I'm gonna check. There's, apparently, there's a shark reef area, so we're gonna see if we can see where the sharks are. <laughs> we'll see if we can see anything. As we're walking through, we just noticed that the citizens cocktail area has actually got a little stage, which would be cool on a night time when it's busy. Um, as you walk through other side of the casino, you start to head towards food court, and there's a restaurant called Lupo by Wolfgang Puck. That's supposed to be quite nice. Um, a few shops, few essentials, but you'll get robbed for your water. So we called into a convenience store off strip yesterday and got six bottles of water for five dollars. In our room, we're in Bellagio. We're stopping in the normal spa tower room. The bottle, the big bottles of Fiji water, are twenty dollars per bottle. Um, it's safe to say that we've not picked any of them up because it's just ridiculously expensive. I mean, it's tempting, as hot as it is at minute. But it's cheaper just to go stick $20 in uh, a slot machine and get a cocktail waitress to come round and tip her a dollar. 
then at least you've got a chance of winning some money rather than just paying $20 from the water. So that's one bit of advice I would give as a newbie come in. Um, if you're wanting drinks desperately, head down to casino and put your money in casino, into a slot, into a video book, or whatever it may be, as it will be a same price, but you've got a chance of winning some money back. So that would be my advice on that one. Best thing about videoing as well is no one even cares. Are you going to do And if you can make out, I've got a wave pool. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from there. We'll probably we'll get a bit closer to it. But one thing I can say is I'm really pleasantly surprised with Mandela Bear. It's part of my French, but I thought it was going to be a shitto, but it's actually not that bad. Um, and it's got, definitely got more like holiday pool than most of the resorts we've walked to. Um, so if you're fancying a Vegas with a bit where you can chill out, it's much more like it. And also, get married, why not? Just heading down to see if we can see Shark Reef Aquarium in distance. So we'll get a video of that if we can. So that is where you would um, go into the Shark Reef Aquarium. Unfortunately, I am not buying a ticket. Of course, I've seen plenty of sharks in my life. I don't need to pay to see another one. So, sorry to anyone that wanted to see that. There's a bit of cheap eats food court here. This is all about bottom end. It's absolutely massive. Like, there's so much space that's not used. There's a massive room here with absolutely nothing in it. So, it's, it's pleasant to surprise me. And another thing as well, what we've said is, Aircon's really powerful, so like when it's as hot as it is, it makes a massive difference. Like you go in some of uh, the lower hotels, like Flamingo, and yeah, and when you get up straight, up and there's basically aircon's just non-existent. Same for like Link and places like that. But no, I think I'm pleasantly surprised with this one. Shame it's so far down strip because you'd have to get an Uber everywhere because it's just too far to walk unless you're planning on staying around here, Luxor, um, New York, New York area. But yeah, happy enough. New bar coming called Flanker, which will be ideal if you're coming for NFL because it's right next to Walkway to Allegiant Stadium, so that'll be under. internal walkway between Mandalay and Luxor. You just go through a little shopping centre. So if you were to head straight through casino, up the stairs, then if you follow Science to Allegiance Stadium and then just keep following it and then you'll find it. And then into, arguably, not by knowing, but we're about to find out as the least favourite hotel on the strip. It's quite quirky, but I just think it's weird. So the downside to it for me, it's weird. It's out of the way. Um, and it just looks a bit crap, if I'm honest. But that's just my opinion. Everyone's got their own opinions, but I'm a very honest person. So I'll have a tour around. So I've got an atrium showroom there. Well, Egyptian people. It looks like that's food court down there. This is as you walk in. The great big Titanic exhibition. Looks pretty interesting. And then I think just here, I think this is Bodies where my mate Nicky said he loved it, absolutely loved Bodies. He almost had to drag Claire to take him. So that's where Bodies is. A little pyramid type thing there. It's quirky, I'll give it that. It's not for me, but it's, it's definitely quirky. Um, but this must be where I like food areas, so we'll. Um, Try and find casino area. When they watch it, ask me mum and dad. This looks like it's lobby area. I just think it's so weird, like all all rooms look in onto the middle. And I mean, depending on where you are, if you're if you're right up there, you're laughing because you can see everything. But if you're there, you've just got a massive wide view on a wall. I suppose it's only when you come out your door though, so it's not too bad. Um, 
but yeah this looks a bit more lively than a few bars i think you can just see edger on a casino machines here so i think this is where it's all happening i did take casino floor i must have, i must say though when we were in mandalay bay um, I just, it was such a massive casino and what i loved about it most were the fact that it was so spaced out like if you look at all these they're all crammed together, which is not a problem, because that's like every other one in Vegas. But the good thing about uh, Mandalay Bay is that there's just so much space, so not everybody's on top of each other. But this is obviously... Because what you have is you've generally got like a centre area, then you've got one section, two sections, three sections, four sections, all the slots. Um, so yeah, they're all in like a quarters, whereas in Mandalay, Everything's just in one and it's, it's really a smart design actually. Walking out of Luxor to Excalibur and shock. They're shot. A lot of, um, what do you call them again? I've gone blank. A lot of escalators, that's it. A lot of escalators seem to be shot. I mean, it's a great laugh if you're walking downhill, but if you're walking uphill, not ideal, but at least it's aircon. Yeah, I uh, I told a lie actually. I said that we dreaded Luxor, but actually, I mean, it doesn't really bother me. But Mrs. She is not best. But she basically she don't like Excalibur. She said it looks shy, so we're about to find out. You never know; she might be impressed. So we're just walking into Excalibur. And it looks about as shit as what we thought. It looks so dated. I mean, I'm really, I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but it's just my opinion. But this is food court. It's like content. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not great, is it? Oh, these are banging. I've seen these at the food now. Wicked. But yeah, it looks, looks really cheap. Um, I don't think there's, I don't think there's that much here that I'd eat either. Looking at it, everything just looks like dated and closed and cheap and yeah, everything even from the ceiling. We've got Starbucks though, but it's about good. It's good to gamble in, I guess, and that's probably about it. But I won't want to stop here. So you guys have seen it. As I am for the first time ever. Standard casino floor. Looks dead. <laughs> I mean, I won't say I'm surprised. But I mean, the good thing is, so if you're stopping in Delano, you can get from Delano to Excalibur just by walking through Luxor. So they all link, which is handy to know. Um, they are all in life properties. So again, if you're uh, like us this week, because we're not massive gamblers, we're trying to do everything in one location so we can get as much out of rewards as we can. I mean, that's not to say that we won't be going anywhere else, but well, it's just handy to know. So, as you can tell, the Gwynwick Castle theme. Not for me. Going straight to New York, New York, which you can walk to via here. So again, it's another M Life property that is on the same like walkway sort of thing, so it's handy to know. If you can hear that sound, it's probably them fixing some on roof or Excalibur because it's that dated, it's probably just collapsed. But in all seriousness, so we're heading to New York, New York. And I think that they've got a roller coaster yet to see. It's handy to know as well there is a tram station that you can get from Excalibur straight to Mandalay Bay. Um, so that's handy to know. Heading to New York, New York, as I said, they've got the roller coaster, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's opposite MGM as well. So it's not too bad an area, there's quite a few other hotels around here. So just about to head into New York, New York. Looks a pretty funky building from outside, to be honest with you. Uh, not sure what it's like inside, we had to find out. And then after we've been in here, there's a little walkway, just over here, if you can see, and then we'll probably head into MGM Grand. So we'll see what we can find.
Now what a view that is from Bath. The old casino floor. This is from the bar up here. Which is, I can't quite know the name of it. I-24. Draft on tap. Well, Paw 24 this bar is called. So these are all drafts they've got on tap. And then you can obviously all your cocktails, your beers, and then look at that for a view. You know, pretty cool. So this is food court area. It's pretty novel. Um, I would probably say that's the main thing about this hotel. It's more novel than anything else. It's like the true American style. Uh, it don't look too bad. Better than Excalibur, let's put it that way. What do you think better than Excalibur? Shit. So, that's her answer. So, walking through New York, New York, standard casino floor. Um, decent food court. You don't need to go see New York if you come here because Vegas has got everything. Um, my wife just put on her house Instagram account that. Um, uh -huh. She's trying to plug her Instagram, what a knob. But yeah, she, uh, she just put on that we're in Vegas and we're on about the water situation and everything. And we've put in, and someone's message saying that if you ask them at reception to empty a fridge, because it's all paid, if you if you ask them to empty it, then you can, and then you can use it as an actual fridge. Because at the minute in, in Bellagio, we've just got a fridge that's, everything's prepaid, and if you breathe on it, it costs you nine grand. So we're going to ask them when we get back, so I'll let you know if that is actually a thing or not. We're just heading across to MGM Grand now. Just been to New York, pretty decent in there. Don't think I'd stop there, but it's not the worst hotel that we've been in. Um, so far, out of the whole South Strip sort of area, it would be the one that's furthest away. But Mandalay Bay, I'm well impressed. Um, worst one, Excalibur. Be one of the places if it were only a hotel on the strip that would open, I'd have to stop there. But apart from that, I'd rather go anywhere else, I think. Apart from one of these dodgy motels that you walk past. Um, there's an hotel called Tropical just over here. Uh, never been in that, not heard anything about it. Mm, we've got Elvis just riding by, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, it's true what they say, though, like a first timer, uh, everything's a lot further away than it seems. We were at the um, Welcome to Las Vegas sign. Uh, and I put in Aria uh, on my maps, even though Aria's like 10 minutes away from where we're stopping. And it said it was 50 minutes, which is just too hot when it's 43 degrees. But what I will say is we both paid for, we're with E and we paid for 10 pounds uh, to use as phones as we could abroad, which has been an absolute godsend when you, um, when you need to map everything as like a first timer. So again, that's another little perk um, if you're a complete novice to it. I mean, we're very lucky because I, although I've never been to Vegas before, I've got a lot of people that I know that have, and some of his best friends are quite big vloggers of it. So it's helped in that respect because we, um, we've kind of got an half idea of what we're doing. So yeah, we're just heading down into MGM Grand now. Let's see what all this is about. Might have a little gamble in here as well, uh, as it's M last M Life property before we head back up strip. So we'll see what we get. So just coming down escalator for anyone that's interested. Top golf is in here, and for any big golfers like I am myself, um, this is where you'd come to it. Uh, there's quite a few nice golf courses in Vegas, but I'm not sure I'd get away where coming to Vegas and playing golf. I think just bringing my missus to Vegas were enough. So I'm not going to get a chance to play golf while I'm here. But I'll certainly might have a nosy at top golf, but we'll let you know. So just in um, MGM Grands, just on Dragon Link, I think it's a Genghis one. It's his first beers that we've had offered to us by um, Waitress. So she's got a nice tip as a thank you. So let's see what we can get from this one. Nice. Cheeky mini at a tenner. Is it Nick's birthday today? Yeah. Uh, go on then. No one will be watching my vlogs, but shout out to Nicky, it's his birthday today. So this one's to you, mate. Cheers. Cheers for 
Oh, another mini happy days. Staying to a decent bonus, this. Nice. Oh, I've just seen an hundred dollar ball go by, that would be nice. Oh, two to go. Can you imagine seeing this and how fuming everyone would be if we dropped 11,990 quid on us first ever trip to Vegas? The absolute scenes. Last one. Come on then. Come on. Oh shit. Now nah, then, I dare you. Let's have a look. Last spin for 11,990. Oh, well, that's a shame. It's a cracking screen. Well, I've been with that one. A nice bonus, this. It's only a dollar bet as well. So. Forty dollars, not too bad. You tell it. Coin sure. Happy days. So we've just left Park, no, we've just left MGM Grand, walked back through Park MGM. Um, no, it's an absolute lie. We've just left MGM Grand, walked through New York, New York. We're off to Park MGM so we can catch Aria Express. Um, Chuck $60 in a Dragon Link. Had a couple of bonuses, so it'll have all gone towards the Zem Life rewards. Uh, ended up not cashing anything out, so not really an issue it's only sixty dollars but um yeah just making his way back up strip now and it's still red hot so just a bit of info you can get to the area straight through park mgm but we're just coming to get the free tram so this stops at vidara picks you up at park mgm stops at vidara and bellagio i do believe please correct me if i'm wrong from my bit but it's just easier to get up back end of the strip without walking, especially, and I'll keep mentioning it, but it is red hot. So, yeah, that's what we're doing now, just like leaving. <laughs> Thank you.
So our first bonus of the night. On the betting load to start with, but let's see what we can get. I need a lot of re-triggers here, let me tell ya. to Vanderpool Paris, we'll let you know how it is once we get inside. So we're just walking back through Paris now to go back to Bellagio. Uh, we've just been in Vanderpool Paris, really nice um, setting, good music, um, but we got, we got a record recommended a horrendous cocktail from my mate Claire Firmage which is called It's My Fucking Birthday and I tell you what I should have been paid to drink that <laughs> never mind pay $60 for it it was disgusting uh, I mean each person to their own and all that but it tasted like if you were to lick a wet wipe that you get from KFC to sanitise your hands <laughs> and it was just not very good it was so strong as well but they did Peroni so <laughs> Next time I go back, I'll get a Peroni and that'll do me. Yeah, even even Mrs. couldn't drink it. And yeah, we were having a sip of that and a sip of water while grimacing. So, a big shout out to Claire for that one. Thanks for that recommendation. It's $60 I'll never get back, but we still love you, so thank you. Um, so, yeah, we're uh, going to nip over to Bellagio. Put us last bit of money back into Bellagio. Hopefully get an ampe and a drink. Um, but you'll see if we get any more bonuses. Just to update you, we got another $50 of free play um, from a Pop Slots account. Uh, we put that into Buffalo Gold, yeah, and got about $12 off it, which were horrendous. And then we got nothing with that $12 so basically we're a waste of 53 play uh, yeah it we're a waste of 53 play and we got nothing to show from it we had one bonus for for $5 which you'll see in video and then um, as well as that one bonus we must have had about 10 times we must have had the, the two coins that you get to go on to the bonus and the third one just didn't spin in. So yeah, uh, good time in Paris. Not a very nice drink, but we'll uh, see if we get any more bonuses. Malaysia. Back in Malaysia, this is first bonus. We've had a pretty shit uh, nice gambling so far. But now we're on here, let's see if we can get some of it. Come on then, let's have another one. Oh yeah. Another five more for a $50 up top, that'd be nice. It's a nice golden ball. Come on, another four, let's have it. Major or minor, we take either of them. That would certainly spice nice up. Last spin, come on. Don't kill us. That's a shame. There are so many big numbers flying around there. Let's see what we've ended up with. Nice little forty-five dollar. That'll do. Nice one. So it's day four in Vegas. 
Oh, oh shock escalators aren't working again. Um, we had a bit of a quiet one this morning. Just went around and sat down the pool for a bit. We're just going to get something to eat now. We're off to next door to Cosmo to try egg slot. As this is one that my missus has been wanting to try for a while. 